Hey guys, this is the Don with Overlanding Anglers and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna go on a little bit of an adventure and we're gonna go scout some locations for an upcoming Exploring Oklahoma uh, episode that we wanna shoot. But while we do that, we are gonna do a product review and range test of the products that Midland gave us, okay? We've got the X-Talkers and we've got the MXT 275 that is mounted in here. Now, since I've got the X-Talker in my hand, let's talk about that first. Operation on this is gonna be very similar to any walkie-talkie that you can buy at Walmart, Academy, or anywhere else, guys. It is turn it on, hit your menu button, up and down to change channels, lock it in place. Uh, now, being GMRS, this is gonna have a lot more power and a lot more range than your normal FRS walkie-talkie radio. Um, so these are really handy to have. Now, getting them out of the box, it's really well put together. You shake it, nothing rattles. Everything works the way it's supposed to and it seems like a quality product. Another big thing with the X-Talker guys is when we put it on the battery charger, it took about an hour to an hour and a half before it reached full charge. Now since then, four weeks ago, I have had this in my 4Runner. We have used these on little trips here and there talking. And guys, if you could see, we are still showing full battery on this radio. Uh, so. Now that we've kind of gone over this, let's jump in here and talk about the MXT275. All right, guys, now we're coming around to the MXT275 and we've got ours mounted right here on the other side of our center console in the war machine. Let's take a closer look. This is the radio unit of the MXT275. We chose to mount the radio on the passenger side of the center console because it is tiny. With the mounting bracket, it only stands five inches deep, five and a quarter inches wide, and one inch tall. With a USB-C charger on top and a jack for a secondary speaker on back, it's perfect for out in the open or covert installs. Now for the mic and controller itself. The mic and controller are what make the MXT275 special. All of the controls are located here on the mic. The mic can also act as a speaker. Now, aside from the 15 high-powered GMRS channels and 8 repeater channels, my favorite feature has to be the NOAA weather alerts, which alert you to watches and warnings when there's no cell phone service or warning sirens. We are running this through Midland's 3 dB ghost antenna and using the included 12-volt connector for power. Now, the only thing I don't like is the included mic holder would not remain on the dash, so we simply swapped it with a mag mic. Now, for our first test, we have to go back in time to when we left more Expo. All right, guys, we are starting the test. Okie Girl underscore Overland is now leaving, along with Wander Off-Road Outfitters. So we're gonna sit here and we're just gonna wait until we hear her radio traffic. Awesome, we've got you loud and clear. Let us know when you're another mile out. Clear, I have you at four miles with a little bit of static. Right, guys so that seems to be it uh from more expo uh to wherever ashley's going on the way back to tulsa we got about four miles of range before we started losing her so that's not bad um and we will look and see what the range tests are going to be like tomorrow so let's go ahead and skip to tomorrow all right guys radio test number two we are now headed home on I-44 and if you can't hear that there is quite a bit of rain coming down. Now unfortunately our buddy Aaron was not able to get his MXT500 installed but he's got his X-Talker up and running. So we are going to test. He is about 50 feet behind us and we are going to test the MXT275 going to that X-Talker. 
Now this will be more of a test of the X Talker than the MXT275, but it will give you an idea of how far you can get from your group when out camping or overlanding. War Machine 2, Black Sheep, can you copy? Excellent, buddy. You're over a mile behind us and we can still hear you. I'll go ahead and slow down so you can catch up. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. The X Talker to the MXT275. We got about a mile and a half of range on some rainy, hilly, uh, curvy Oklahoma back roads. So we did have a little bit of interference, but still a mile and a half is really impressive from a handheld, especially when you look at most of the FRS radios, they're going to have a range of less than one mile. Um, and that's going to be really useful guys. If you want to stray away from camp for a little bit, or if you get separated on an overlanding trip, you still have about a mile and a half of range on a handheld radio. So you're still going to be able to get in contact with whoever you need to. Now there's one more thing that we need to talk about when it comes to GMRS repeaters. Let's check it out. All right, guys. Now, one of the, the biggest things that we can do with GMRS radios is we have access to repeaters. Now, privately owned repeaters are located everywhere across the country. You can easily find those um, and it really boosts your range. Now, to test that, uh, I'm going to reach out to my good friend who is on the repeater network and let's see if he can hear us. All right, let's do it. WRQA729, radio check. Still got you good, Donald. This is Justin. Uh, just past Choctaw Road, uh, at east on I-40. All right, thank you very much. Uh, WRQA729 is going to be clear of the net. Yeah. Oh, that's easy money. Easy money. <laughs> guys so there you have it repeater test is done we were able to hear each other really really well and here's the thing justin was 40 miles away from where we are right now how crazy is that 40 miles i mean i think that's pretty impressive and we were able to get the range of this mxt 275 to go that far through the repeaters. And guys, repeaters are important. Knowing how to program your MXT275 to the repeater channel in your area is very important. And the reason it's important is because if you're in a dead zone, a cell phone dead zone, and something bad happens to you, chances are if you're hooked up to a repeater and you get on that radio, there's gonna be somebody listening, somebody who's gonna be able to send you help. It is a huge safety thing and having good recovery gear, which is exactly what a radio is is very, very important. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you guys have any questions about the MXT275 or the X Talkers, just put them down below. You guys will find links to Midland's website where you can purchase these radios also down below. Um, and I hope you guys have a great week. Till next time, keep exploring. Bye. War Machine to Clio radio test. If you call me that, I will not answer. Ha, ha, ha.